directing today here on Set with Chamber Media. We are in Wendover, Nevada. We came out here to see in an actual casino. The theme or the vibe for this concept uh, is the client winning big. And the casino is a perfect metaphor for that. It brings in this color, it brings in this attitude and this richness that we were trying to capture. That really incorporates the, the customer, the, the client on this, in this one. All right, so we're in the casino playing off Ocean's Eleven. Big picture, we wanted to just embrace the casino here. It looks pretty awesome. So we kind of match the color temperature and the ceiling and the, what the games are giving us. When you have a pretty location like this, you just kind of add to it, shape the light how you want with some diffusion, move lights around, and uh, it turns out pretty cool. One thing that's nice, we had a lot of steady cam moves through the casino. So we've got lights like this guy right here that you can just hand hold their battery. They don't need any power run to them and you can just move along with the actors. So there's a lot of walk and talks throughout the casino. We just have a light moving with them. Makes it simple and it looks really pretty. Hi guys, my name's Daniel. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to be doing an interview, so I'm going to be off radio. <laughs> I'm the anchor producer with Chamber Media, and when you're shooting on location, there are a lot of things to make sure you take care of before you actually get to location. A few of those things are making sure you know what the parking situation is, garbage, where to be walking if there are certain areas in the house or location that are off limits. Then when you actually get on set, some things to keep an eye out for are where are the outlets because uh, G&E are going to need to plug in their different equipment, hair and makeup might need to plug in a curling iron, things like that. Wardrobe will need to be able to plug in a steamer or an iron. You also need to know how big the location is to see can we put all crew in one area or do we need to have hair and makeup and wardrobe in one area and every all the, the gear boxes in a different place. I always ask specifically for a bathroom for our crew and I ask for a hallway or some sort of area where we can call it the green room. So just a storage area basically and a, and a break room for maybe the extras of the people who aren't gonna be on camera. And it can just be a smooth sailing shoot. When you're shooting on location, a huge part of it in pre-production is scouting it out or doing a walkthrough before you actually start shooting. The most important part was to pick our spots of where we wanted to shoot, see what would be problems, what would be beneficial, and then we can think about it before it's the morning of. For example, we have a scene coming up where something falls from the ceiling. We had initially thought of doing it in one spot, but looking around we found a better spot where we can rig things to the ceiling and make it look better. So you kind of need to adapt, but that all comes through a walkthrough of uh, being able to just take time and really think things out. Scene one, Bravo, take one, Mark. Hey, how's it going? I'm Russell Anderson. I am the AD today on set here at Chamber Media with ClickFunnels. One of the most important things as an AD is keeping on schedule and being able to make sure everyone is working, being as efficient as possible, because there's so many variables that happen on set. Location changes happen where we can't shoot here because of music, we gotta move over here. So with all those changes, it's very important to make sure people understand the changes that are happening, what's the fastest way we're gonna get them done, and keep them focused. It's important when you stay focused on set. <laughs> Let's go! 20 cents, baby! Everyone wants to have fun, but we're here on a job, so it's important we stay to work and we get, we get the shots we need for the day. So what we're doing now is we're setting up this money drop shot. The nice thing is that we were super prepared with location, so we knew what we were walking into. We were able to budget some time so that we could play. Because we're ahead of schedule and we're prepared, we're also going to play around with him, maybe do some acro. Our talent today it just happens to be a stunt double as well. So we wanted to do some flips and things. So the more you prepare, the more you plan ahead, the better your day on set will go. And the more prepared you are, the more creative you can be in the moment. And that's a wrap. This was such a fun shoot. Thank you so much for coming along. Remember that whenever you are wrapping a place, leave it better than you found it. Sometimes it's nice to leave a little thank you note to the location owner 
Maybe you have extra snacks or extra lunch if you want to leave a plate for them, water their plants. Just kidding, don't do that. But make sure that they really understand how excited you were to shoot in their location and make them feel really happy to want to work with you again in the future. And just have fun. Make sure that it's a great experience for everyone, but also yourself. It's stressful being a producer, but once it's wrapped, that's all you gotta do, and you're done.